Hi, this is Kevin Randman. I'm with Vinny the fucking Chin, and we're on Cage Junkies. Obviously. Huh. Yeah. Now, you're the originator of the Cisco blonde hair. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, to, I had to put myself, I had to separate myself from other fighters, you know, and yeah. you got to have some kind of image. Were you mad or flattered when Josh Koscheck and Melvin Gallag copied your style? Actually, you know, I'm always flattered. I'm flattered. And it's not, you know, being blonde is not my, it's not something I made up. Wesley Snipes was, uh, was blonde long before me in the Demolition, Demolition Man. Man. So I guess I took it from Wesley. Classic and, movie with the best, one of my favorites fighters right here. You mean, I got him right. Rocky Balboa, it was. You know what I'm saying? Adrian! You, now you think you'd have a better Italian impression being your marriage to Italian. I'm it's all right. I try. She freaking let, does not like me doing it. I, if you, I won't let your wife see that. Okay. All right, let's, let's cut that. All right. Also, um, all right, good. Also, supplementation. All right, a lot of guys are bullshitting out there. Tell us about what supplements, cycles. You used to stay in shape over here. Give it the real shit, the elephant in the room. Tell them everyone else is bullshitting. Hey, I work hard for everything that I do and what I get. So anyone that thinks that I um, that I take supplements to get as big as I am, um, it's all full of shit. The um, juice, you got to get on the juice. <laughs> you got to drink orange juice, yeah. apple juice, yeah. pineapple juice. You got to do all that stuff, man. You got to keep your body rehydrated all the time. And if you're not, you're just yeah. going to be one flabby fuck. Right. We're not in the flabby. We're trying to be that's it. like that. Oh, that's, that's shit. what we want all the time. But, right uh, wait, wait. Uh, oh, let me go ahead and put mine away. Right, uh, you. right here. A little winny, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, now, honestly, fighters train really fucking hard all the time. A lot of injuries. All right, could give us the real on recovery. Okay, you know, as, an, as a fighter, we're always going to get injured. And I'm sorry. I have a lot of doctors uh, that help me stay healthy, whether it be a hyperbaric chamber, age management. I'm a 40-year-old man right now, so um, the test, I, I used to be strong and be able to recover like crazy when I was 20. I'm 30. I still didn't need any, any help or whatever, but, you know, I, I think that there's all, always going to be a need for testosterone replacement. Regardless whether you're a fighter or you're a father or you're just a school teacher, it helps you stay a little bit more energetic, helps you recover, help you be able to go through those long days. Yeah. Now, for fighters and everyone that's in a sport that 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 these that enhancing drugs and stuff are, are illegal, you need to train harder so that you don't have to worry about getting tested, so that you don't fail your test. If you got to take stuff year round and all that stuff, you don't need to be afraid. You need to be. I don't want to disrespect any other field. Sage, sage. You need to be a bodybuilder if, you, if that's what you need to stay on top. Sage. I don't need that to stay on top. Have I taken things before in the past to, to, to help me? Yes, I have. And I'm not that kind of person that's going to sit there and go, oh, I've never done anything. I've never been tested positive for any kind of an enhancing drug. I failed one drug test because I was on a lot of pain pills because of all the injuries and all the surgeries that I was having at the time. I don't condone it, but if you're going to do it, be smart about it. Period. Yeah, and women are on estrogen and shit all the time. They don't get shit for it. So why the fuck should we get shit for it? I think that I think that that uh, there's a there's always going to be a use for everything in the world. And uh, if you do it within reason, if you do it with you know the help of a doctor or a physician, I believe that it's going to be beneficial to you. But then you got those guys that are going black market and stuff, just trying to get big and strong so they can impress somebody. That doesn't mean that uh, enhancing. Drugs are not going to make you a better fighter, Vinny. Doesn't make you tough. Doesn't give you the chin. No. Tell him. It just makes you feel like you Superman that you might be able to bully someone in the street, and then you're gonna have to run into me, and I'm gonna fuck you up, cause I don't like bullies. The bully killer. I am the bully killer. Anybody, anywhere, it doesn't matter. But for anyone out there that, that that thinks that this sport is all full of juice heads, it's not. We work our asses off to be the person in the shape that we are, and if you take a day off, if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. That's it. I do sit-ups and abs work every day. When I got my son in his rocker, I'm doing sit-ups and push-ups and stuff. No off-season? I don't have, we don't have an off-season, Vinny. Oh, that's right. I got off-season. I wait for summertime to come around. I'll get in shape for the Hamptons and Memorial Day weekend. So, no, seriously, well, off-season. But he's, he has to be in shape all the time. Sometimes I'll get a call, and I'm not a heavyweight. I don't fight heavyweight, but I'm offered fights at heavyweight. And 
And it seems like that's the only thing that they offer me. I weigh 205 pounds. I'm not trying to fight 260 anymore, but everyone thinks that I'm that guy. I'm not on enhancers. I'm not enhancing myself right now. So I someone that at, at 260 might be. I'm just joking, you guys. I'm just, in this sport, it's regulated. And um, don't think for one second that the men that are fighting for you are, are all on enhancers. This is a sport with a lot of men that, 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 that are doing this sport because they love it and they have integrity. So not everyone's doing things that are illegal. And the ones that get caught, be smarter. Now, Kev, we're going to have the fucking bonus round. I give you a name and you spit out the first mm. word or two that jumps into your head. All right, ready? Yes. Here we go. George St. Pierre. Special. Nick Diaz. Awesome. BJ Penn. Oh, come on, man. He's the Honolulu freaking supreme right there. Honolulu supreme BJ Penn. All right. Chris Liebman. Okay. Okay. All right. Mayhem Miller. I love his crazy addicts. Right. Antics. Michael Bisbee. He's the count, and I respect him. I respect him. You know, people, you know people come out. Him? Yeah, but people come out. If you don't rep you where you're from, then right. you are no. Then you shouldn't be respected where you're from. And Bisbing will not let anyone talk. I, again, I love England. I've been there. Great place. I've never but been there. Never gone. I'm not going to talk bad about anyone where they're from because I'm looking to be fans with everybody. But if someone talks negative about me, I'm there. I like Bisbing. I like Mayhem. I like BJ Penn because there's a lot of people that follow them, and I follow those guys who have a big following. And these guys are charismatic and they care about their fans. Also, again, bonus round. Keep going right now. Tito Ortiz. Fuck you. Janet Jameson. I love her work. Love her work. All right. Charles McCarthy. Charles McCarthy? Am I supposed to know who this guy is? He was a, he was, he was a fighter. He was a UFC fan. No, All no, right. No, no, no. Don't re I don't recognize the voice. All right. Should I? If, I? if I should, I'm sorry, but I got a family and other things I do. Right. Fighting is what I do to make money for my family, but it's sorry, definitely Charles. not what or who I'm going to be defined by. Hoist Gracie. Awesome. Vinny the Chin. Vinny the Chin, love the man. Right. Brother from another mother. That's it. Fucking Italian women, all right. Jose Aldo. Incredible. Incredible. Do Dominic Cruz. Wow. Tumultuous. Tumultuous when he's in there. Anderson Silva. <laughs> spider. Watch out. Don't, 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 don't fall asleep. You know, Spider, period. Hector Lombard. <laughs> okay, oh, good. He's okay. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. All right. Again, some of these names, I got to get the faces right. with them, but. All right, check out. Dana White. Beautiful. People don't like him, but without him, this fight summit wouldn't even be here. Without him, I wouldn't be here doing this with Vinny. Vinny wouldn't be here doing this with me. Wouldn't have biographies coming out. Wouldn't be writing a book on my life. None of that shit. None of it. None of it. So Dana White, the man who took a small vision that was flickering, lit that light and kept it going, kept putting food, in that food and putting wood on that fire. And look where we're at. We're at the Fight Summit. Had a great award show last night. You awesome. Know, I was it there. was. It was phenomenal. Sean Tompkins got great praise for everything that he did for the Absolutely. sport. Greg Jackson gave him great love. Emily Tompkins got up and gave a, gave a heart-wrenching, touching speech. And uh, I believe that this whole entire thing helped me come closer with a lot of the people that I just didn't know from afar. Very good. You had already at first, Kevin Randleman. All right. Thank you very much. One pleasure. of the best fucking interviews ever. One of the best interviewers ever. Thank you. You heard yeah. it here.